Hey, folks. Hey folks, you may have seen a while back that YouTube announced it was experimenting with making dislike counts private to only the creator of the video. No. Now, if you're like me, you were surprised by that. No. Hey folks, you may have seen a while back that YouTube announced it was experimenting with making dislike counts private to only the creator of the video. That's a big problem. I mean, I've always thought seeing the number of dislikes on a video helps us know as viewers if it's a good video or not, if it's a helpful tutorial or not or if what a creator is, is saying in their video is generally agreed with or not. But unfortunately, research teams at YouTube have found there's this whole other use for disliking a video no. that I had never experienced no. as a creator, and you may not have either. No. Apparently, groups of viewers are targeting a video's dislike button to, no. to drive up the count, turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. No. And it's usually just because they don't like the creator no. or what they stand for. No. That's a big problem no. when half of YouTube's mission is to give everyone a voice. So earlier in 2021, YouTube experimented with making the public dislike count private to see if it would help reduce these coordinated dislike attacks across the platform. That's a big problem. And after analysis, they did see a reduction. No. So the update from YouTube is that the dislike button is staying, but the dislike counts will now be private. That's a big problem. You can still dislike videos and that action will be used to tune your own recommendations, but you won't be able to see the dislike count. That's a big problem. Only the creator can find it on the back end if they want. That's a big problem. Now, a few common questions we saw from the initial experiment. First, without a public dislike count, how can viewers tell if a video is worth watching? Again, I kind of have this question too, but it turns out that while viewers might use the dislike count to give them a sense of a video's worth, when the teams looked at the data across millions of viewers and videos in the experiment, they didn't see a noticeable difference in viewership, regardless of whether they could see the dislike count or not. No. In other words, it didn't really matter if a video had a lot of dislikes or not, they still watched. No. Next common question, if creators can still see the dislike count on the back end, how's that any different? They can see it if they look for it inside Studio Analytics under the Engagement tab. But overall, it's much less likely to cause stress and embarrassment if the count isn't visible to the public. No. And one more common question, is this because YouTube Rewind got lots of dislikes? No, although there are some teams internally who have learned the hard way what it feels like to get lots of dislikes. Now, this again is about protecting all creators and making sure they have a chance to succeed and feel safe in doing so. No. All right, so that's the update. I hope it doesn't cause too much frustration. Honestly, I think you're gonna get used to it pretty quickly. No. Keep in mind, other platforms don't even have a dislike button. So consider that. Thank you, and I hope you're well. No. That's a big problem.